Let's jump right on into another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shoma. We just wrapped up a live session. We thank you for jumping on with us during this live weekly podcast of Come On Now, the podcast. It was episode 33. We thank you for jumping on. We had a, you know up, up almost 200 people in the room. I know it's a little bit late. Uh, Eastern time. So we thank you so much for jumping on with us. I just got off of it and I know I had to do a rant and I'm going to rant away. I may repeat some of the stuff that was said in the actual live podcast, but I got to talk about it because Caitlin Clark just dropped another triple double. Like Ice Cube said, after round and got a triple double because nobody cares about double doubles, baby. Caitlin Clark, 24 points, 10 assists, 10 rebounds. I am sure the Angel Reese congregation of Hateration is going to come and show its face and let us know that Caitlin Clark grabbed her 10th rebound with like five seconds to go in the game. We give no Fs about that. Because at the end of the day, y'all never have a problem with Angel Reese getting some more points in the final three minutes of a 20-point blowout or the final, I don't know, final 15 seconds of a blowout win or loss while she begs for the ball. So you know what? I'm not going to care either. I know what I saw. She grabs the rebound. I'm those 10.2 seconds to be exact if you want to be specific. But let's talk about this game. Caitlin Clark won this game tonight for the Indiana Fever. Kelsey Mitchell dropped 18 points. She didn't have her typical elite stroke from three-point range. Seemed like she was a, a step slow, but she still dropped 18 on 8 of 18 shooting. Aaliyah Bosman had a big game with 24. She had 24, and I think it was 14 rebounds. 24 and 14, 10 of 16 from the floor. Had a really good game, albeit there was a couple of shots that I'm like, come on, Aaliyah, you got to hit these buckets. Like these layups, you can't miss these damn layups on on, on, on drop-off passes. Um, Caitlin Buff, 24, goes 8 of 17, 4 of 10 from 3, 40% from 3. Since the All-Star break, she is over 38.5% from 3. She's found her legs. She still takes some of those heat check shots that I wish at times she wouldn't ch- take because when she misses them, it messes up her percentages. But again, a great game on her, uh, you know, for her three steals. She did. She was a bit loose with the ball. Seven turnovers. That's too damn many. She needs to stop the behind the back passes. But that's her game, so we live with it. It is what it is. The Fever at one point had eleven turnovers. Like they had ten turnovers in the first. 14 minutes of the game, which is why the game was close. They finished with 18 turnovers, which is too much. This is back-to-back games with over 18 turnovers, but both games ended up in wins. You can't do that when you're playing the elite teams of this league. So you need to clean that up as a team. Um, however, they were overall loose with the ball, not just Caitlin, but they had a back couple of they had a back court, I mean, two back court violations just that just can't happen. They shot the ball very well from the field, 49.3%. Held off L.A. to 40.3, but L.A. hit 10 threes, and Indiana only hit seven. The free throw line was definitely Indiana's friend, 20 of 24. They did out-rebound L.A. 40 to 28. But, yeah, Caitlin Clark, there was a stretch where she, you know, she gets a couple buckets. That place goes bananas. You know, it really goes bananas. There was a stretch in the third and a stretch in the fourth where she hit a couple buckets real fast, and next thing you know, the place is going crazy. Um, she hit a three, make it 58-55 in the third quarter. Then she comes back with a steal, gets a layup 60-55. to 55. You thought they might stretch it away there, but then she gets a wide-open six-footer to Leah Boston, who then misses that easy six-foot shot uncontested. And next thing you know, the game is back to 60-59. 60, 60, 60 to 59. So, you know, Caitlin hits another nine footer. So, like, basically, it was a seven seven straight points from Caitlin Clark. You know, uh, Erica Wheeler hit a big three from the wing in this game on a, on a dish from Clark to Boston. Boston finds Boston didn't even want to look at the rim. It looked like uh, she finds Erica Wheeler. Erica Wheeler didn't think twice about it. Boom, knocks it down. 
Thank you, Nurse for LA, who had a really good game. She hit a three to make it 66 64. Caitlin Clark, boom, a 25 footer to make it 69 64. Caitlin Clark, third in the third quarter, she had 10 points and, and, and played exceptionally well. You know, she was the off, like realistically, she was the offense. Because in that quarter, I don't think, I think Kelsey Mitchell scored early, but didn't score again. Now she actually, Kelsey Mitchell had four points in the quarter. But again, we didn't, we didn't see that, that Kelsey Mitchell we've been seeing the last few games, especially since the break. Fourth quarter, we have the same type of situation. Like this game is nip and tuck. It's 69 68. <laughs> you know, Leah Boss gets a layup on a Clark shot, Clark pass. Then Caitlin Clark drops a freaking drops a 25 footer to make it 74 68. Then it's 76 68. An assist from Clark to Boston. Realistically, I mean, really, Caitlin Clark controlled this game. She controlled this game. And she is the reason that they won this game. Bluntly. It got, I mean, it got to at one point, it was 78 70, 78 73. It got as close as 84 81, you know, but that was really as close as the game got. Actually, it was 87 84 as well. Lexi Hull ends up going to the line after an offensive rebound and a miss from Kelsey Mitchell. That was a big, big play. But Caitlin Clark balled her ass off 24 10 and 10. I thought, it, I mean, at one point, I thought Caitlin Clark would finish with like 15 rebounds because she was grabbing a lot of rebounds early on. Again, the struggles that women have in making easy shots just baffles me all the time. But Caitlin Clark is absolutely balling. This is her second triple double of the year. That is a record. It was already a record <laughs> for the rookies. Um, let me see. What was the most triple doubles that most triple doubles in WNBA history in a season? Kaylin Clark became the fastest player in W. Uh, this was two hours. Okay, so there's a couple of new things that Kaylin Clark just did. Kaylin Clark became the fastest player in WNBA history to reach 100 three pointers in a season. Um, so that's another record that she just set. Alyssa Thomas has two triple doubles this year. So Caitlin Clark leads the WNBA. She's tied with Alyssa Thomas for most triple doubles this season. Think about that. She's a rookie. There's only five triple doubles this year in the WNBA, and two of them are by Caitlin Clark, two by um, Alyssa Thomas, and one by Late Light Lashia Clarendon for the Sparks. So she's in. She's uh, one of a few, and only three. So it's uh, I can't find who has the most in a season, but I'm sure the number is not tremendously high. Getting a triple double in the WNBA is hard, but let's compare these triple doubles. Alyssa Thomas's triple doubles are 14, are 12 points, 13 assists, 10 rebounds, 13 points, nine, 14 assists, 10 rebounds. Alyssa Thomas is a forward. Kaylin Clark's triple doubles is 19, 13, and 12, 24, 10, and 10. She scores a lot more than Alyssa Thomas does. <laughs> There's no question about that. And uh, Clarendon's triple double was 11, 10, and 10. It is one of those things where you you see the, the impact that Caitlin Clark is now ha is having right now. It's just so – it's crazy what she's doing. You know, they win this game. This is a game they probably, probably would have lost before the break because of just how they played early on. Um, they played so poorly that they were only down one point at halftime, which was pretty impressive because I thought they played like absolute trash in the first half and they're only down one point at halftime. Yeah. So that, that, that was big, but Caitlin Clark right now, I mean, you look at their 17 and eight since they started one and eight this season. She has absolutely run away with the rookie of the year award. Like we have to stop the conversation. This is not a conversation. I'm so sick and tired of having to have this conversation or even speak about it because it just gets so exhausting. It's so it's absolutely exhausting to listen to this type of nonsense. This is not a competition. This is a wipeout. I keep telling y'all this is a wipeout. And now she just did a, a second triple double. You want to call it a padded triple double at the end? You go ahead. I don't give a shit. Because if you want to really go that direction, you better go the direction of freaking Angel Reese. Because I would venture to guess that half of her freaking games in her streaks of double doubles because she has one streak now she has another streak that's that's going on you know i, I don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it realistically 
it's it's complete nonsense, if you know what I mean. Like it's 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 just gotten to the point where come on now. <laughs> if, if you have a problem with what Caitlin Clark did, you should have a problem with what Angel Reese did. You should. And I should have a problem with what Caitlin Clark did. I have a problem with what Angel Reese did. So that's so while but comparatively, and you're gonna say I'm a hypocrite. Caitlin Clark does not determine how stats are, 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 you know, are judged. So like, I thought that her 10th assist wasn't an assist. I, I've never seen that called an assist in the NBA game where you get to take four or five dribbles to the basket and, and get an assist from the corner. It was called an assist. I was surprised, but it is what it is. Now the rebound, the rebound ball, the ball bounced right back to her. Like what is she supposed to do? Let it roll out of bounds for 10 seconds. Grab the ball. She was the closest person to the ball. It bounced off of the rim to her. You want to call that padding? Call it what you want. It is what it is. It wasn't her demanding the ball to score. It wasn't. It was, and that's typically where Angel Reese's you know failures would lie is in scoring. She can't score, so they send her to the free throw line on technical foul shots to get her points. They throw her the ball in the paint despite being down twenty to get her points in with two minutes to go in a game. This is what's happened. We've seen it. It's been on television. It's been everywhere. We've seen all of it. But let's see here. <clears throat> Who has the most triple doubles in a season? So Cheryl Swoops has two triple doubles in her career. Cheryl Swoops, how are you there? You look at look at who just caught look at who just tied you. The one the the the, the great Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark, yes, sir. Um Candace Parker, okay, Alyssa Thomas had one, two, three. She had four triple doubles in 2022. I'm going to guess that's the record because I don't see 2023. Sabrina Inesco had two in 2022 and Candace Parker had two in 2022. So I would presume the record is four in a season. Again, getting a triple double in WNBA is hard. It is probably one of the hardest things to do because there's only 40 minutes in a game. So it's not an easy thing to do. Realistically, I mean, you have, I mean, heck, you've had till 2022, you had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, I don't know what the number was in 23, but in, as we see, it's 20, it's five more. So it's 25 at least plus whatever was done last year. So I see it as four being the record. Um, Caitlin Clark is in elite company. She's doing it as a rookie. And it's special. It's absolutely special. So if you want to add that to her double doubles as well, I mean, she just continues to raise that record for her as for that guard record also. Nonetheless, absolutely incredible performance by Caitlin Clark tonight in leading that win because she was the reason they won that game tonight. She was the reason, like for real, for real. But Leah Boston was big time, but Caitlin Clark spurred that win. She had stretches where she was just absolutely incredible. And, and made play after play after play after play. Whether it was scoring or passing, she was making plays all game long. Anyhow, that is about, that's going to do it for me. I thank you for jumping on with me and checking out this newest rant, more of a praise, ses a praise session for Caitlin Clark and her second triple-double of the season. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, and ring that bell. Come on now.